That's the SpaceX Starship Mega Rocket lifting off this evening from Southern Texas on a test flight after two postponements. NASA is counting on Elon Musk's company to help the U.S. beat China in a 21st century race to the moon. Mark Strassman has tonight's Eye on America. SpaceX's Starship is the most powerful rocket ever built. Riding with it, NASA's push to land astronauts back on the moon and win America's new space race with China. Our hope is still uh, 2027. You think that's realistic? I do. U.S. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy is NASA's acting administrator. Four years ago, NASA hired SpaceX to build a lunar lander version of Starship. But Duffy acknowledged a series of Starship in-flight failures and explosions earlier this year leaves SpaceX behind schedule. The U.S. has been to the moon already. Does it matter this time if the Chinese get there first? It does. So we won the first space race. We are going to win today's space race and tomorrow's space race. We copy you down, Eagle. What? <laughs> American pride surged in 1969. History's first moonwalkers were Apollo 11 astronauts rather than Soviet cosmonauts. More than a half century later, NASA needs Starship's lunar lander to return astronauts to the moon's surface. But 10 former senior NASA leaders and engineers told us the SpaceX approach is overly complex and the company still has much to prove. I want to see the United States succeed, and I'm just worried about this architecture. Doug Cook spent 38 years at NASA and oversaw human exploration for the agency. He's now an aerospace consultant for companies such as Boeing. It's the scale of operation in that time frame. I just don't see it. To reach the moon, Starship will need to first top off at an orbiting gas station. And that will require rapidly launching 10 or more tanker ships to deliver propellant. In-space refueling at this scale has never been tried before. Those are important technologies for the long haul. For going to Mars, they're important. But is this the right approach for the right moment? I think it's too risky from a schedule standpoint. NASA on the current path doesn't appear to be on a timeline to beat the Chinese in my view. The Chinese want to land on the moon before 2030. Secretary Duffy told us he's confident SpaceX, renowned for its space innovation, will deliver again. If you look at the company as a whole, they oftentimes are behind. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they make these massive leaps forward. The delays we've had with SpaceX, the complexity of the of the vision. I think it's important to be honest. Mm -hmm. And if I thought we were going to have concerns, um, I would tell you. And if there's a point that I do have concerns, I'll make that public. But space is never easy. The clock is ticking, and America's lead in space could be on the line. For I in America, I'm Mark Strassman in Houston.